Welcome back, coders. I'm Kehlani, and I'm your host for Code Along with Black Girls Code. Today, we're going to go on an amazing adventure. Coding can take you anywhere, so I want to use code to create the best, best day, day ever. ever. What if we could go to the ultimate tech lab with all the newest and coolest technology? And what if we could do whatever we wanted there? We're going to use Scratch to create our very own Choose Your Own Adventure project about our amazing adventure to the ultimate tech lab. When we're done coding, the user will be able to interact with the project and choose how they'd like to spend their perfect day. Let's get started. Before we get started, make sure to like this video and subscribe so you never miss an episode. Let's go to scratch.mit.edu and log in. Remember, you can check out some of the earlier videos in this series to learn how to create an account, start a new project, and so much more. Now, I'm going to create a new project. You can do this by clicking on File, then New. For my Choose Your Own Adventure project, I'll set up a game so that my users first enter a tech laboratory. They'll decide what kind of project to build in the tech lab, how they want to gain inspiration during the middle of the project creation process, and how they want to share their final project. In our project today, we're going to use events. An event is an action that causes something to happen in a project, whether that be the user clicking on a sprite, the backdrop changing, or a secret message being broadcasted or received. Before we get to the coding, let's brainstorm the different scenes and choices in the project. In this Choose Your Own Adventure project, we'll have a beginning and end scene that takes place in the same location. Then we'll have three sets of three different choices, resulting in nine different scenes for the user to choose from. This might be a lot to keep track of. I'm gonna need to write this down. What should happen in the first set of choices? Let's decide what kind of project the user wants to create during their day in the tech lab. Maybe they can build a robot to solve a community problem, like cleaning up our parks and playgrounds. Or maybe the project involves coding a game to teach something new, like the lyrics to your favorite song. Or maybe they can create a VR experience of their favorite place, like the beach or an amusement park. Now let's brainstorm what happens in the middle of the day when they need some inspiration. Option one, brainstorming session with the other young inventors. Option two, take a creativity break to sketch out new ideas. Or option three, eat lunch with a famous female inventor who will share her story. Those sound like awesome options. Now let's come up with the final set of choices. What should the user do with their project once it's complete? Option one, present the project to a panel of judges. Option two, share the project with family and friends in an online showcase. And option three, donate the project to others. These are the three sets of choices I'll use in my project, but feel free to add your own ideas to the project. First things first, let's pick out a background image for all nine of our choice scenes, plus one extra to start and end the day at the tech lab. We'll add 10 background images in total. Click on the mountain icon to select any background images that you like. I want the background image to match the choice that the user is making for that scene. If I want a scene that shows the user building a robot, I can upload one instead of selecting from the gallery. I'm going to do a quick Google search to find any image for my robot scene. Remember, if we upload any images that we didn't create, we need to cite the source in the notes and credits section on the project page. Once I've selected and saved the image to my computer, it's time to upload. Hover the mouse over the mountain icon and select the upload button at the top of the menu. To help organize all the different scenes, I'm going to rename the costume at the top left of the editor. Let's repeat this process so that there are 10 background images to match the scene with each option. Now that the scene images are picked out and the choices are planned, let's create text images for all nine options that will appear on screen. I'm going to create a sprite for each text option. To do this, I'll hover over the cat icon, then select paint. Now I have a blank canvas to create on. Select the text tool and then click on the center canvas to place the text. I'm going to type, build a robot to solve a community problem in the text box. Now I can update the formatting, colors, or even add a background to make it stand out on screen. I'm also going to rename the sprite to match the name of the choice it represents. Then, I'm going to duplicate the sprite eight times to represent all nine of my choices. I'm 
I'm going to update the text and costume name for each. Then alternate background colors to make the text pop on screen. I'm going to hide each sprite so that they don't appear on screen right away. Wow, that was a lot of work to design each text sprite image. The last piece of our project setup is to create a main character sprite. Click the cat icon and select a character message you'd like from the gallery. Delete the scratch cat from the project. I'm going to drag my sprite image all the way to the very front since that's what we'll be adding the most code to. <sighs> that was a lot of setup. Time to finally get into coding. From the events category, add when green flag clicked to the main character sprite. Then add a broadcast block underneath to set the starting scene. The broadcast block sends a secret message initiating an event in a project. We'll use it to set the scene in this project. Create a new message called Start of the Day in the dropdown. Then drag a When I Receive block into the editor. This code will run when the Start of the Day message is broadcasted. Let's use the Go to XY block to set the sprite's position and the Switch Backdrop 2 block to the starting scene image. Then add a few say blocks to introduce the user to the project. Tell the user what will happen in their day at the tech lab and ask them a question to get started. Finally, let's add another broadcast block and broadcast a new show choices one message. We'll use this to tell the first set of choices to appear on screen. Now that I've sent a secret message to my first set of choices, I need to tell them what to do. Click on the sprite that shows the first choice the user will make. I'm going to click on my first build a robot option. Next, let's add a when I receive show choices one block. Underneath, add a go to XY block to set the sprite's position. Then add a show block to make the sprite appear. Now, I want the scene to change to reflect the user's choice. From events, drag a when the sprite clicks block into the editor. From looks, drag a switch backdrop to block underneath. I'm going to select my robotics lab image to match the text on screen. Click the event blocks to test the code. Oh no, when I click on the sprite, the text remains on screen. Let's add another broadcast message to make the text disappear after the user has made their choice. Drag another broadcast block underneath switch backdrop to and create a message called hide choices. Then add a when I receive hide choices block and drag a hide block underneath to make the text magically disappear after it's been clicked. Let's test this out. I'm going to use the backpack to copy over the code we just added to the build a robot sprite to the other two sprites in my first set of choices. Build a game to teach something and create a VR experience about your favorite place. Drag each set of code and place it on top of the sprite you want to transfer it to. Wow, I really do love this backpack. Now, I need to update a few things on the other two sprites. I'm going to update the position to make the second and third choices appear below the first one on the screen. Then, I'm going to update the image in the Switch Backdrop 2 block to match the text choice. I need to test this out to make sure the positioning and scenes appear correctly. Looks perfect. Now, let's go back to the main character sprite to make something happen when the new scene appears. Add a when backdrop switches to block into the editor, then select the first scene image from the dropdown. I'm going to select the robotics lab. Add a weight block from control underneath to make the project pause for a few seconds before the sprite starts talking. Then use multiple say blocks to code the main character sprite to talk to the user about their choice. I might use an ask block to help the user brainstorm the type of community problem they'd like the robot to solve.
Then add another broadcast block and create a new message called Show Choices 2. This will call the second set of choices to appear on screen once the first scene is finished. Let's duplicate this chunk of code two times to code the other two possible first scenes. I'm going to update the backdrop to make the Game Maker Space and VR headset images to match the other two possible choices. Then I'll update the text to match as well. What do you want your main character to say or ask in each scene? Let's test out each choice for the first scene. Does the text on screen match the correct background image? Now that we've added all the code for the first scene, the second and third scenes will be much easier. Oh, backpack! backpack. Let's use our trusty backpack to copy over the text sprite code to the second set of three choices. Brainstorm with a group of peers, creativity break, or lunch with a female entrepreneur. This time, I'm going to update the message in the When I Receive block to show choices too, then update the background to match the choice Meet with Others image. I'm going to repeat this for the other two scene options and test my code to make sure everything is working properly. Let's go back to the main character and repeat the dialogue process for a second time. Duplicate the when backdrop switches to chunk of code three times. Select the corresponding background image for each of the three scenes in the second set of choices. Then update the say and ask blocks to match the scene. Create a new message in the broadcast block called Show Choices 3. Repeat this step by selecting the corresponding background image for each scene. Then update the Say and Ask blocks to match the scene. Let's see if we can code the last scene on our own. First, I'm going to copy over the choice code using the Scratch Backpack. I'm going to update the backdrop and broadcast blocks. Then I'm going to duplicate the when backdrop switches to chunk of code on the main character sprite three times. I'll update the backdrop image selected and the text shared on screen. Finally, let's code the user to return to the start scene once they've created and shared their projects. Create a new end of day broadcast message, then select that message on each text sprite in the last set of three choices. On the main character sprite, I'm going to drag another when I receive block out and select end of the day. Let's use a switch backdrop to block to revert the background image to the home scene and say blocks to share a thank you message with the user. Let's also add a play sound until done block to celebrate the end of the adventure. Let's test out the project all the way through to make sure everything matches in the correct scene. Let's take a 
moment to celebrate everything we learned today. We use events blocks to trigger actions like running a chunk of code when the backdrop switches. We use motion blocks to set a sprite's position and guide it exactly where we wanted it to go. We use looks blocks to show or hide a sprite, switch the backdrop, and even make a sprite say something to tell our story. We use control blocks with sensing blocks to pause our project and perfectly sequence events, creating a smooth flow. And we use sensing blocks to ask the users questions and make our projects interactive and fun. To save the project, click File in the top left corner, then select Save Now. Once your project is saved, let's share it with the Scratch community. Once we've saved and shared our project, let's update the project page to include instructions for the project, notes, and credits. Check out the link below to view the code for today's project. Remix it and have fun making it yours. Wow, that was like the best day ever, right? Thanks for spending it with me, coders. See you next time.